Today, we have some exciting news to share with you. Google has just released a new update for Android 15 called Beta 3, and with it, they've announced that Android 15 is now officially stable. This is great news for Android users, especially those with Samsung devices, as it means One UI 7, which is based on Android 15, is getting closer to being available for all compatible Galaxy smartphones and tablets. Let's dive into the details. Google has rolled out the Android 15 Beta 3 update, and it's packed with several bug fixes, performance improvements, and some new features. Reaching platform stability means the core system behavior is finalized. This is a crucial step because it allows companies like Samsung to speed up their development of major software updates. So we can expect Samsung to now accelerate the development of One UI 7.0. When a new version of Android reaches platform stability, it signifies that the API's and system behaviors are finalized. This makes it easier for developers to start building their apps and for OEMs like Samsung to begin working on their custom skins. Samsung has a track record of being prompt with their updates once Android reaches this stage. Based on this, we anticipate the One UI 7.0 beta program to start in the third quarter of this year, with a stable release happening in the fourth quarter. Now let's talk about which devices will be getting this update. If you have an eligible high-end Galaxy S, Galaxy Tab, or Galaxy Z series device, you'll be among the first to receive the One UI 7.0 update. After these devices, the update will roll out to mid-range Galaxy phones and tablets, followed by entry-level smartphones and tablets. Here is a list of devices expected to receive the update. Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and Galaxy S24 Ultra. Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra. Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and Galaxy S22 Ultra. Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Galaxy S21 Series. Galaxy Z Fold 6, Fold 5, Fold 4, and Fold 3. Galaxy Z Flip 6, Flip 5, Flip 4, and Flip 3, Galaxy A73 and A72, Galaxy A55, A54, and A53, Galaxy A35, A34, and A33, Galaxy A25, A24, and A23, Galaxy A15 and A14 LT plus 5G, Galaxy Tab S9 Fan Edition plus and Tab S9 Fan Edition, Galaxy Tab S9, Tab S9 Plus, and Tab S9 Ultra. Galaxy Tab S8, Tab S8 Plus, and Tab S8 Ultra, Galaxy F55 and F54, Galaxy F34, Galaxy F15, Galaxy M55, M54, M53, M34, M33, and M15. We compiled this list based on different factors. Samsung devices that launch with Android 13 are likely to receive Android 15, since Samsung offers two major OS upgrades. Flagships and mid-range phones eligible for four years of updates will also get Android 15 given Samsung's policy. Moreover, devices launching in 2024 are expected to come with Android 15 out of the box. However, keep in mind that this list is not final and won't be until at least August or September. We'll make sure to update you as more information becomes available. One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be an exciting update with new features and enhancements designed to make your Samsung experience even better. So keep an eye out for the beta program if you want to try out the new features early. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on the new Android 15 update and the upcoming One UI 7.0? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for latest tech updates. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the thumb itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163 millimeter in height and 77.58 millimeter in width, 
versus 159.9 millimeter and 76.7 millimeter for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.